Hello, I'm Joy, and I'm here to talk to you about Motorola RDX Series 2A radios. The radio I'm going to talk about today is the RDU 2020 and how to custom program it manually. Now, all radios can be programmed using Motorola CPS. That's the same standard platform, but what I'm going to show you specifically is the RDU 2020 non-display. Now, channel 1 is the same for all RDU 2020s across the board. Um, another radio that's non-display is the RDV 2020, RDV 5100, and RDU 4100. Now, each of these radios has a different default setting for you know, channel 1, channel 2, so on and so forth. Now, the specifics on the RDU 2020 for channel 1 is going to be frequency 2, code 1. And in the custom programming setup, it's actually going to come off as 02 frequency code 001. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to get into programming mode. To do so, make sure the radio is turned off. It has to be fully charged before you get started. With the radio turned off, hold down the push to talk button and the button with one dot directly underneath it. Keep both buttons firmly held down. Turn the radio on. And after it chirps at you, let the buttons go. Okay. And then the green light should be flashing. To get started in programming mode, very quickly tap the push to talk button one time. Don't hold it down or it'll kick you out of programming mode. So I'm going to very quickly tap the push to talk button. That's zero. Two. I'm going to hit the push to talk button again. Zero. Zero. One. So what we just went through was frequency 02, code 001. And if you're confused about what the, the beeps and the chirps mean, so a red chirp is 1 and an orange chirp is 0. So in programming mode, the button with 1 dot is the plus button, the button with 2 dots is the minus. So I'm going to hit the minus button and you're going to see 0. Okay, 0, 1, 2, Three, four, that long chirp is five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to hit the button with one dot plus one more time. It's going to take us back to zero. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is change the programming from frequency 02 code 001 to frequency 38 code 59. So it's actually going to be frequency 38 code 059. We're going to get back into programming mode. So again, the radio is turned off. Hold down the push to talk button, the button with one dot directly underneath it. Keep both buttons firmly held down. At the same time, turn the radio on. And after it chirps at you, let the buttons go. You know you're in programming mode when the green light is flashing. So to begin, very quickly tap the push to talk button one time. Okay, we need to change the zero to three. So we're going to hit the button with one dot three times. Okay, now onto the next step. Very quickly tap the push to talk button one time. I'm going to change this to eight. So it's on two. I'm going to hit the, the button with one dot six times. Now onto the code, which is going to be 059. I'm going to very quickly tap the push to talk button one time. Okay, and that's zero, that's where we need to be. So again, very quickly tap the push to talk button one time. At zero again, we need to change that to a five. So the button with one dot, I'm going to tap that five times. Okay, now on to our very last step. Very quickly tap the push to talk button one time. Okay, we need to change that one to a nine. I can either hit the button with one dot eight times or the button with two dots, the minus button, twice. So I'm gonna hit the button with the minus twice. Okay, and to save and exit from programming mode, I'm gonna hold down the push to talk button one time until the radio chirps. And then I'm gonna hold the button down for about three seconds until it chirps at me again.
Now we just custom program channel 1 to again frequency 38, code 59. A couple things you have to watch out for when you're custom programming these radios is when you're in programming mode and you're trying to move from play setting to play setting, the uh, menu button, I'm sorry, the push to talk button acts as the select feature when you're in programming mode. So if you hold it down too long and you hear that, you held it down too long, it kicked you out of programming mode, you have to start again. Another thing to watch out for when you're getting into programming mode, if you just hear this noise, that means that you're not in programming mode either. You know, the green light isn't flashing, so turn it off, try it again. Another noise that you can hear if you accidentally hold down the push to talk button and the button with two dots, this actually puts you in clone mode, which is something entirely different. And it has a very distinct chirp, but again, the green light isn't flashing, so you know you're not in programming mode. The very last thing that you can do by accident is holding down all three buttons on the side of the radio when you're turning the radio on. Again, a very distinct chirp. And that actually does a hard reset on your radio and it just cleared off every single setting that I put in it. So you don't want to do that on accident. Um, other ways that you can program the radio is getting customer programming software. It's an inexpensive programming cable and a, the programming software is a free download. You can easily manage your radio fleet that way. Whenever you get a new radio, you have a saved profile and you can just zap the radio and get that taken care of. Um, you can also get a multi-unit charger or a cloning cable. And if you have a master radio that's already been programmed, you can just connect the units together and you can you know, clone any new radio. So it'll you know, work with one another. Now, there are many ways that you can program these radios, and we're always here to help, so if you need anything, just contact us at Two-Way Radio Center. Thank you for your time.